So we were looking for a good small church, but that would be a good place for the family to fit in, that everyone would be comfortable, because um, I knew I was going to be bringing my wife and the kids in, in a few weeks. We began attending uh, this church in 1972. It was called Meadowdale Community Church at that time. We just kind of weren't getting what we needed. Um, it was kind of like the same repetitive thing over and over again. It's like, I don't feel like I'm growing. I need something different. We had a pastor prior to our current pastor, Toby Logston, who had a sudden opportunity to retire and retire early, which meant there wasn't a lot of planning. But we started looking for a pastor. We went to several other churches in Alaska and in um, Utah, where we were from and uh, we found this church online that had the same background and credentials. I listened to some of Toby's podcast and I was like, this is, you know, this sounds like something that me and my husband would feel challenged at and we would grow. When I heard Toby first teach before he became our pastor, I said, this guy is good. We need to get him here. I got an email from Craig Kennard saying, this church is in bad shape. We couldn't afford to send him an airline ticket for him to come out. On his dime, he volunteered to fly Christina and himself out. It was a church revitalization opportunity, and so we decided, um, you know, that this sounded like a good fit. We knew some people up here. We knew Pastor Toby for quite some time. We knew that he was coming here to kind of be replanted. I'd say also we, we got the impression that this was a, a small Bible church with a long history of uh, a faithful Bible exposition, and that was a good fit for us. So, Pastor Toby preaches from the Bible, just doing expository preaching rather than drifting around, picking and choosing what sounds good for uh, what people might want to hear. I was looking for a, a church that would be consistent with my own um, beliefs, importance of preaching from scripture, the expository preaching that I've been enjoying. And he reads all the parts, the good, the bad, the ugly, um, even if it's stuff that you don't necessarily want to hear because it might pertain to your life. We wanted to be challenged, and so we wanted a church that wasn't afraid to talk about sin. I, I didn't want to always feel full of sunshine and, and that I can just do anything and God's just going to forgive me. I needed to understand what God is saying to me. I am a pastor who is committed to the Word of God. I think his, his sermons have really helped me and like the principles that he draws from uh, the passages that we're going through, I'm able to like apply to my life in certain situations. So I mean, yeah, that really helps. We don't want any lukewarm teaching. We want uh, straight from Bible what God teaching us. It's not what is easily preached, but uh, it's what the Word of God says. It's what we as Christians all need to hear. And we hear the Word of God every single week, and we hear uh, very practical messages of what it means to be a Christian in this world and how to keep our focus on God. If they're looking for a solid Bible teaching church, this is the church for you. I would say that we were looking not only for a place to hear God's Word, but a family. Well, I'm an introvert, and so um, when, I, when we attended bigger churches, it was kind of easier to kind of fall between the cracks. I had attended some other churches with very large congregations where I felt like a stranger and I could easily hide and nobody would know I was even there. My sister belongs to a large church and you know, you can't have 5,000 close friends. Part of being a church is not just going to sit on Sunday mornings and hear a sermon and then never talk to the people again until you go back next Sunday. It's part of a family you're going in. Not just a family, but a group of people that will help me be accountable for what I do. You won't find people here who are looking to pick at your, at your flaws and to, uh, to find some kind of splendor in your eye. But yeah, I've been, you know, pulled aside and said, hey, you know, what's going on and stuff like that. And you want that accountability, but not the judgment part. You need a healthy community of Bible-believing Christians who uh, will come alongside you and, and rejoice with you when you rejoice and weep with you when you weep, uh, who will hold you accountable to the Word of God. It's a small community, but that's, that's the strength of it, is that it's a small community of strong 
Bible-believing Christians, and nobody's gonna come at you and attack you. We're here to help you. We feel that this, this community, this uh, church uh, does encourage each other, and we continually can see growth, okay. both that with the church, but also as a, as a family as well. A few years ago, uh, I was going through a very difficult situation with my work. There were a series of sermons that went on for, it seemed like months, and I, I could have sworn that every single week, Toby was preaching just to me, as it just seemed to synchronize so well. And I think that that's just the, the power of God speaking through His Word. And the sermons weren't just for me, obviously they applied to a lot of people. But even so, God was able to reach through that message and get right to my point of need. We started attending New Beginnings Church about five years ago when we first moved to the state of Washington. The sermon was amazing. Toby, I was captivated the entire time. And then right after church, everyone came right up to us. They were super friendly. They said they introduced themselves and they said, hey, we're all going to go grab lunch. You want to come with us? And they were all very open and inviting and welcoming and... Uh, it was uh, really providential. We were talking on the way here in the car about how we weren't, um, we didn't feel like we were uh, being pressed to grow in our, in our Christian life. And we came here and the sermon was about growing <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, how it's necessary and how we need to be pursuing that. And so uh, I remember getting up after the sermon going and talking to Pastor Toby and being like so convicted but so encouraged at the same time like this is how I'm actually supposed to feel when I when I'm leaving church. It was a good experience. I mean it was it was everything we wanted to find in the church. Yeah. What we were looking for was was here. Yeah. Most everybody that we've talked to that's come new has who didn't know anybody here has talked about how friendly it was, you know, people come up and greet you and um, I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. I didn't feel singled out, and I felt acknowledged that I was there, and I wasn't overwhelmed, and I wasn't underwhelmed. It was just a really nice balance. I would say if you're thinking about coming to a new church, come by, try it out. The people here are wonderful. The pastor is fantastic. The word is straight from the Bible. You're not going to find that anywhere else. Absolutely.